know enough to be dangerous, don't end up crying over home renovations. Folks, what would you say? Would you give this roof score out of, out of, out of 10? Okay, guys. So those are two new, uh, uh, two new. Well, not two new team members. Deanna was with us last year. Matt is with us this year, um, and I'm just showing them how to use some of the technology that we use to do our inspections to make sure that you get a quote that you can understand and you can ag and actually build a you know a confident purchase around. And so a big part of it is documenting photos as well as taking measurements. On this one, this poor homeowner is actually crying inside about this situation because her husband he's got a herniated disc. Um, she just had a hip replacement like they're getting older and this is the home that they they raised their family in like this is the home They've lived in their whole lives, right? And the, her husband has done interior renovations, but unfortunately he's not in a physical position to do anything like that anymore He can't fix this stuff and so they hired a roofer to address these situations and um, They tried to get these skylights put in and been fixed, but guess what? Sorry, the wind is crazy. The beautiful interior renovations that they did are destroyed. Destroyed. They have this beautiful pyramid opening around the skylight, so it like opens up like a pyramid. It's really awesome. And uh, and, it's, and it's wrecked. I mean, chill at this stuff. So, first of all, I want to show you something. See what you don't what, see how you have this metal right here? This is called your flashing, right? And notice how you don't see it here, like you, you see shingles. Okay, now let's come around to this side. Okay, so now look at this. This was not done right, right? This should be up here, and so you shouldn't be able to see this, right? And then I don't like it when you have your key tab. This is called your key tab, this gap right here. I don't like when you can see your flashing right here because look, water can go right underneath here, and if there's a nail under here, it goes right in, and guess what? It is, and it's destroyed. There's $15,000 worth of damage to the inside of this house now because the vapor barrier just collected water, collected water, collected water, and then poof, and now the drywall's falling down in their kitchen, okay? But you see all kinds of silliness. See what I said about not liking having that vent right here? So, or that, that flashing or that, that, that flange, right? How, whatever term you want to use. I don't like it when this is here, right? This, we call it a Dutch lap, or there's a hundred different roofer words for it, but essentially, you don't want this gap. You can see that someone tried to repair it here with this caulking, much in the same way that they tried to do it over here, right? And then they sealed up around the skylight, but look, you can see where the moisture is getting in. So this is now causing damage, but that's not the worst part. Now look at this, okay? You can see that that's full of water, right? Look at that, right? And so the moisture is going right in to the house right there, right into the wall. It's tragic. And don't worry, the neighbors didn't do any better. Look at that. See that pipe? See that's nothing coming out there? That pipe was supposed to be installed in there and it never got put in. Someone just left it, right? The rest of the roof looks not bad, right? But look, they didn't even put the pipe in. See that? Can you guys see that on the video? Comment below if you can, if you can see that little pipe there. That pipe is supposed to be like this. Don't slip, be careful. See how the pipe sticks out? See how the pipe sticks out? So guys, you gotta know, and guys and girls, you gotta know, to know enough to be dangerous because if you don't know how to hire and qualify a roofer, then you gotta make sure you have a documented job plan. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna provide a full replacement for the roof quote, but we're also gonna show them pictures of everything that's wrong, show them exactly how we're gonna do it. We actually draw on the pictures so you actually see what should happen. That way, even if they don't hire us, they are way more qualified to actually hire a roofer so they don't end up, you know, crying in the future. Because, I mean, look at this, right? I mean, not a big fan of this. I would have gone I would have gone over here, right, over this again. we got to seal up around this. So we got to take pictures of that, right? But we got three skylights to deal with here. And uh, gutters, too, from the looks of it. But, guys... You gotta know enough to be dangerous. This is the first call this year. The first call. I still got a toucan, right? And I wanna come on here and record this video, show you guys this stuff so that you don't get ripped off, so that you 
get a good renovation project done on your roof because this is the most important part of your house. Next to the foundation, this is the most important part of your home. This is not where you cheap out. You can cheap out on a flooring job and you're just gonna have an ugly flooring job, but you cheap out on your roof, man, oh man, oh man. I'm not saying these folks cheaped out. Um, I'm just saying that if you don't do the right things, um, you end up having consequences that are very, very, very expensive.